YouTube, what's going on? We are in the building with the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now, as you guys can see, I went with the navy color as advertised. And taking a look around the box real quick, obviously we have this nice image of the fold on the front with a little bit of a shadow behind it. Obviously because it's such a thin box, you're not getting any kind of charger in the box except for the cable. Got a few of our little branding things on the back here and we have our seals if it's broken. So let's go ahead and peel this bad boy open. I'm gonna peel this back here. Let's see if we can get a clean rip. Boom, done on that one. Let's see if we can get a clean rip on this one. I don't have any fingernails, so I'm doing the best I can. And boom, done on that one. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this thing open and get right into it. Now, this is the navy color, like I said. And for comparison, I have my S24 Ultra over here. We're gonna do a little bit of size comparisons back and forth between the two. But off the top, this color is incredible. My goodness, look at this pulling the fold out of its precious box. And this is your Z Fold 6, everybody. So this is the navy color for the third, fourth, fifth, whatever time I've said it. Just taking a look around the phone, we have this matte texture on the back, matte texture on the sides. You have your fingerprint sensor right here, along with your volume up and down. First things first, I can immediately tell like I said in my video where I went to Best Buy and checked it out, it is very thin. Like the thinness of this device is, in, is crazy. Got your cameras. I like the little effect on the camera rings. If you guys can see, you know, see the little effect on the camera rings. It's pretty cool. Got your triple camera setup with your flash right there. And let's go ahead and do our little peel. And that takes that off. And that's gonna be our first look at that inner display. Crease is actually a little bit, a little less noticeable than it has been in previous years. The crease looks really good. Let's get that first fold in, and boom, there it is. So, let's peel this off as well. And we're gonna just slap that right there. I like to keep my stuff nice and pristine. And we're gonna power this bad boy on. So first impressions, now that this is, a, this is actually my unit, one that's not being tethered to something, First impressions, feels really good in the hand. It's nice and solid. Um, looks like mine doesn't have, okay, I was about to say, I don't think I have any battery on mine. Feels really nice and solid in the hand. You kind of can see inside. I don't know if you guys can see it inside up there. You can see the Samsung kind of screen lit up on the inside just a little bit, but we do have that black inner protective like lip around the phone. I love the fact that it seals up all the way now. Like that was one thing about the Fold 5 that really sold me last year was the fact that it's sealed up all the way. But the fact that this one just continues to keep that going feels really nice. Now, let's do a little comparisons next to my S24 Ultra. So first and foremost, uh, cause I'm gonna set this thing up. I'm gonna be switching over to this. Uh, you know, who knows, we may do a I'm switching video, but I'm gonna do a little bit of, a, a, of something different this year. But we're gonna do some comparisons real quick, just some size comparisons. So this is, let me take the fold, the S24 out of this Kadabe sheath. Make sure you go check that video out, by the way. And these are going to be, this is gonna be what, what you're looking like. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter than the S24 Ultra. If we put them side by side, obviously it's a little bit it's not as wide as the S24 Ultra, but when it comes to the thickness, however, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm gonna try my best to do this on camera. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's not that much thicker than an S24 Ultra. So I think Samsung is getting real close to giving us that perfect fold with the Ultra cameras and S Pen built in. I think when we get to that point, it'll be great. If we can get a fold that is in these dimensions and this thin, my goodness, man, that's gonna be like one for the books and you can't get away from it. But again, real quick video. Oh, here we go, let's go ahead and peel this off real quick. Real quick unboxing video for you guys. Just wanted to let you guys see the Fold 6 Navy Blue in person. Let you guys see what we're working with. Slide all this other stuff out of the way because there's only one star of the show right now. Only one star of the show. We'll get all this out of the way. 
And if you guys see these in the background, obviously got some cases coming for this bad boy. But the Z Fold 6, I mean, opening and closing the device feels really good. Doesn't feel like there's a lot of resistance to it. Closing it. Some people have commented that it's a little bit easier this year than it has been in previous years. I personally can, I can see a little bit of that. The actual act of opening the phone feels very easy, feels very fluid and very smooth. But when you close it, there, when you close it and when you open it, right when you get to the point of like, when you get ready to close it, and then right when you get to the opening point, like right about here, there's a real nice resistance that kind of gives you that satisfying pop into place. And then when you close it, you get somewhat of the same thing. You get a real nice slow, you know, clasp as it closes up together. But man, so far, first impressions, I like it. Stay tuned to the channel. We'll have a lot more content coming on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. You know, obviously the 24 hour later switching video. Mode. Continue holding the screen with two fingers until... Oh, okay, we're back. I had to get that fixed. I <laughs> accidentally turned on the talkback feature. But that being said, guys, uh, just like I said, real quick impressions of the Z Fold 6. Stay tuned to the channel for more content. Uh, make sure you like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.